Pat with Pat's Two Cents with God's Church of Love Online. This is a very, very serious scripture, serious message, and I really don't want to deliver it. So, let's read on, because I'm going to do what I was told to do. Ezekiel chapter 7. Moreover, the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Also, thou son of man, Thus saith the Lord God unto the land of Israel. <sighs> An end. The end is come upon the four corners of the land. Now is the end come upon thee, and I will send mine anger upon thee. I will judge thee according to thy ways, and will recompense upon thee all thine abominations. Now, before we go any further, many of you know what's going on in the news. We, as the children of God and God's church of love, we were discussing it a little while ago. There are so many bizarre crimes. I remember I did a video months and months ago, maybe over a year ago, that we were going to start seeing the most bizarre crimes and we hear of a woman cutting her children's heads off. I mean, there are just so many crazy things happening now. And it's like psychological warfare. There, I mean, things are just getting so haphazard and so cuckoo that you better get up under God's armpits. You better get up, drill up under him. Because he is our only safety. He is our refuge. He is our shelter. You hear me? He is our divine protection. So, here we go. Let me continue reading. Because God is going to come down hard, y'all. And it's going to be the powers that be, wickedness in high places, all of the elite, all of the people that are causing all this, wreaking all this havoc in the world, and ruining people's lives. God's getting ready to handle that. Listen to this. Now is the end come upon thee, and I will send mine anger upon thee, and will judge thee according to thy ways, and will recompense upon thee all thine abominations. And mine eye shall not spare thee, neither will I have pity, but I will recompense thy ways upon thee, and thine abominations shall be in the midst of thee, and ye shall know that I am am the Lord. Thus saith the Lord God, an evil, and only evil, behold, is come. An end is come. The end is come. It watcheth for thee. Behold, it is come. The morning is come unto thee, O thou that dwellest in the land. The time is come. The day of trouble is near and not the sounding again of the mountains. Now will I shortly pour out my fury upon thee and accomplish mine anger upon thee. And I will judge thee according to thy ways and will recompense thee for all thine abominations. Okay, let me say this while it's on my mind. Listen, I'm feeling led to warn many of you of this. Many of you who are abusing your kids, many of you who are involved in human trafficking, many of you who are infiltrating neighborhoods with drugs, alcohol, and all kind of crap and weapons. Listen, you think that God is altogether blind and deaf, but God sees what you're doing. And some of you, God's going to allow the devil to release his hordes and his his battalion of demons on you. And yet many of you will do exactly what Judas did when he betrayed Jesus. You go somewhere and hang yourself. You jump off of buildings. You shoot yourself in the head. You will do the most bizarre forms of suicide. And after you commit suicide and you end up in hell, you're going to pay a devilish price that you never thought was humanly possible. All of the sadistic acts you have committed on other people, oh my goodness, it's going to be magnified against you by the demons that have to babysit you in hell. They will be there to torment you 
throughout eternity. Those of you who have created a hell on earth for other people who have oppressed and oppressed and oppressed and still continue to want to oppress for that almighty dollar bill, baby cakes, God's got a warning on your behind. He's got you marked for major judgment. Verse 9. I think I've already read it, but I'm going to read it again. And mine eyes shall not spare, neither will I have pity. I will recompense thee according to thy ways and thine abominations that are in the midst of thee. And you shall know that I am the Lord that smiteth. Behold the day. Behold it is come. The morning is gone forth. The rod hath blossomed. Pride hath budded. Violence is risen up into a rod of wickedness. None of them shall remain, none of their multitude, nor of any of theirs. Neither shall there be wailing for them. The time has come. The day draweth near. Let not the buyer rejoice, nor the seller mourn. For wrath is upon all the multitude thereof. For the seller shall not return to that which is sold, although they were yet alive, for the vision is touching the whole multitude thereof, which shall not return, neither shall any strengthen himself in the iniquity of his life. They have blown the trumpet, even to make all ready, but none goeth to battle, for my wrath is upon all the multitude thereof. The sword is without, and the pestilence and the famine within. He that is in the field shall die with the sword, and he that is in the city, famine and pestilence shall devour him. But they that escape of them shall escape, and shall be on the mountains like doves of the valleys, all of them mourning, every one for his iniquity. All hands shall be feeble, and all knees shall be weak as water. They shall also gird themselves and with sackcloth, and horror shall cover them. Shame shall be upon all faces, and baldness upon all their heads. Let me stop right there. I know I talked a, a, a year to six months, somewhere in there about the Lord getting ready to expose. You're going to see exposure like you never saw before. People you never dreamed could be exposed. Some of them are some of you. Some of you that are in these high places, you're the puppeteers pulling the strings, making things happen. But let me share this with you. While you're pulling the strings, God is marking He's, he's taking notes. He's looking and booking. He knows what you're doing. It's not hidden. Everything you're doing in the dark is in bright daylight for God. And God's going to recompense. He's going to handle it. He's going to deal with you in a way that you never thought could ever happen because you've lived above the law. Or you've got all the lines of the judge's pockets greased with your money. But you're going to be exposed. And when you're exposed, you're going to wither. You're going to shake, rattle and roll, baby. Because when God gets through with you, you're going to wish you never saw the day when somebody shared with you a good deal where you can make some fast cash. Blood money. Blood money. Blood is on your head. 